So, in that sense, it would be fair to say that uh, uh, coming generations should focus on actually acquiring and developing leadership skills in order to move on. Yes. Would you give an advice, uh, apart from that, uh, for the next generations? So, I, I would describe the skills they should develop, right? Which is actually, we describe in the book six paradoxes and no need to develop them all, but let me give you one more which is it's not enough to be technically sophisticated. You also have to understand human beings and human systems because technology applied with understanding human beings and systems causes harms. It's not enough to understand human beings and human systems. If you're not technologically sophisticated, you're irrelevant. So, so those of you who study engineering, study humanities and, and history and politics and sociology and psychology at the same time. Those of you who like history and humanities, and the social sciences, make sure you're technically capable, right? Um, and, and so uh, don't just be a strategist, learn how to do things, right? Um, so you actually have to put things together that feel mutually contradictory. And people who want to learn more, I suggest they read the last chapter of the book, right? Second piece of advice, I think two other pieces of advice I would have. Um, one of them is find a place you love and make it better. Because we're going to solve these problems kind of a place at a time, right? A problem at a time. So find a place you love and make it better. And what I mean by make it better is don't just engage in, in passive charity. I mean, actively make it better, right? Get into it and make it better, right? Um, because we need that right now. It's kind of a, a village at a time, right? And then I think the third piece is um, realize you're going to live your life in chapters. So... Um, any anything you're working on at a, at a given moment, have it have three criteria. First is you enjoy doing it, right? It's it's fulfilling. Second is make sure it pays enough you can live a decent life, right? You don't need a lot, but live a decent life. And third, make sure it's building forward-looking skills. Yeah. Um, and then hopefully it. It's also connected to enough other things that it's a platform you can jump from. So think about, I live chapter one, I jump to chapter two, I jump to chapter three, I jump to chapter four. And if you if the, each chapter has those three components to it, then your life is great. So I live my life as a vector. You know, I was an assistant professor, associate professor, full professor, associate dean, dean, head of strategy and leadership for PwC. You think of that as kind of a vector. There are a couple of places I stood off that vector, and those are the most enjoyable parts of my life. Um, but but the life isn't going to be a vector anymore. So live it as chapters.